Hello, my name is Bill Dulas. I'm a deacon here at the Church of Our Savior and responsible for Jubilee Homes, which has been in existence here at the 20th year of our existence here at the church. We have four homes for uh, sober living, people in recovery, adults, recovery from addiction. And uh, I'm assisted this, this morning and for throughout this year by my friend Tim Hartley, who is a priest in the making. I'm a deacon, a lowly deacon, but he's, <laughs> he's gonna be a high flute priest someday. And uh, we're teaming up this morning because Tim is helping us throughout this year. So I'm gonna lead off with a couple uh, ways in which uh, you can be helpful to Jubilee Homes. First of all, I circulate this uh, prayer list to uh, our partners, our prayer list partners. We have prayer partners, about 24 of them have signed up so far members of our church mostly. Uh, they get a, a list like this every uh, month or two. It has the first names of all of our 50 residents, plus the full names of our managers, our staff, and our board. And they commit to praying for these people uh, at least once a week. I think many of them pray for them every day. And that uh, completes a prayer partnership, a cadre of people who are constantly praying for our people in recovery, especially because they're on a treacherous slope of a uh, risky slope of early in their recovery where they need all the prayers they can get. Uh, secondly, of course, we could use financial donations. We have a fundraising drive in the summer, which you've just missed the deadline, I'm sorry. But actually we, we accept donations all year round. And we have a, a uh, drive in December where I solicit uh, donations. We get most of our money from our rents, from our residents, but we raise about uh, $80,000 to pay for our salaries and for our support for our residents other than their housing. So we, we'd appreciate your support. And I'll turn it over to Tim now. Uh, thanks, Bill. So as Bill said, I'm, I'm here for the next year. I'm a seminarian uh, intern. I've also been part of Jubilee Homes for a couple years now, I think, on, on serving on the steering committee and have loved my time with them. I've known Bill for a number of years, so he has set the tone and the direction for, for everything that's being done at Jubilee Homes. So we are uh, eternally indebted to him for that, as well as all the people that come through the homes. Something that we do uh, one, the first Saturday, most sat, the first Saturday of every month, most of the months, with the exception of, of a couple, is we have a dinner here at the church. And this is uh, an opportunity for you to come uh, take part in the dinner. The dinner is for all of the residents of, of the four houses. One of the houses is in charge of making the main meal, and another house is in charge of making sides uh, to accompany the meal and that rotates around the different houses and all of the residents come here or most of the residents come here but this is where anyone from the church can sign up just send bill an email or, or contact us because we'd like to know that you're coming you can come and just be part of the dinner and listen to what's going on and that would be a wonderful way to uh, to to get a, a glimpse of of kind of the work and and things that are happening at jubilee homes the other thing is we, we also need donations from time to time. We don't necessarily want a storage unit of, of all, <laughs> all the donations, but if you have something, a lot of times our houses need that. A, a refrigerator, a bed, a, you know, a piece of furniture. If you have that kind of thing and you're looking to, to move it out of your house, let us know because we might have a need for that at, at some of the houses. In addition, back to the, the dinners, we... Uh, you can bring desserts for, for the dinners or volunteer to do that, as well as we do a, a raffle every Saturday there too. And so we need items for that. The, the residents love that and, and we have a raffle at the end of the dinner. And so if you have things or trinkets or something that you want to donate for that purpose, get in touch with Bill again, and that would be wonderful. So my contact information is, uh, my uh, email address is Bill D at cosepiscopal.org. You can reach me through that. And uh, 
I'm always available to members of the church and others. We counsel a lot of people outside the, our membership in Jubilee Homes. Uh, a lot of us have uh, friends and children and parents who are in need of uh, recovery counseling and uh, Tim and I and uh, sometimes our managers are involved in helping you find a placement or encouragement for the ones you love who are in an addictive state and need recovery from their issues. So thank you very much. Thanks.